All right, sorry guys. Uh, little man had to wake up and get something to drink. He went and told daddy what he needed, so he had to run and tell me. So, family calls, right? So, um, what I was saying was that you have to be... Uh, um, there we go. So, when you start giving all those self-limiting beliefs, you start believing it. And it just totally puts a damper on everything. You feel like you can't. You feel like if you even try, you're going to fail again. And because that's what you've done in the past. When you keep saying that kind of stuff, that's the, that's the same result you're going to get because you believe it to be so. So these personal development books that I have been reading is helping me tremendously change in so many ways you wouldn't believe, guys. I'm telling you, it is so huge. Um, one that I highly recommend is your very first one is Mel Robbins, The Five Second Rule. When I say you got five seconds to do a lot of this stuff, a lot of it came from her because she helped me get up from, I used to get up at five, now I get up at 4.15 and it all happened overnight. Like I kept telling myself I wasn't a morning person, I wasn't a morning person, but in fact I was. I just had the bad habit of creating, of sleeping in and hitting the snooze button constantly, constantly, because that's what I did all the time. I'd hit it five and six times. I had like so many alarms set up from 4.15 all the way to 6.30. Every 15 minutes my alarm would go off. Okay guys, and I had to get up and work out and I was constantly running behind. I was late because I couldn't get up at 4.30 is what my time should be, but I was getting up at like 5. So I was losing half an hour and then rushing like crazy. Reading this book and over one night I just implemented her thing which is count backwards five four three two one and just get up and go but check put my cell phone in the bathroom where I'd actually have to walk to it because if it's on your dresser or if it's beside you you just keep hitting the snooze button but if it's in your bathroom you have to physically walk and while you're in there you might as just sit there and use the potty and just get up and start your day I have not hit the snooze button not one time since I started on this and this has been over a month ago so to me just by doing that it same thing applies with the junk food you can go in and if you see junk food that's temptation, first of all, you need to get rid of it in your house. Having it there is not going to do you any favors because it's just creating temptation. And you want to remove all temptation altogether because this is, this is hard enough, right? So you don't need to have that temptation there. Remove it. But if you're out and about and like say like the office brings in like donuts. I know this happens a lot with our office. Like a lot of the chocolate comes in. And it's, it's hard to say no, but if you keep walking past it, you're constantly getting, looking at it, and it's just tough, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Nope. Think about your why power, why it's important not to do it. Because if you do do it, you're just going to feel really guilty, and you're going to feel like crap afterwards because you feel like you let yourself down. And that's really what's happening. As you let yourself down, and, and that makes you feel sad. So why are we keep reliving that moment over and over? Offer a donut offer whatever we just have to keep we before we impulse and eat it we have to stop and think how it's affecting us in the long run so I want you to think about that because in the long run it's going to just hinder your progress it makes you feel crappy um because you're eating, you're not eating balanced it's going to make you feel like you have failure because you said well, this is what I've always done this is who I am I'm a junk food addict and that's what I told myself and yes, guys, it's taken me two years to get to a point. I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight, but doing these Stanley little practices every single day is making it so much easier. I quit the junk food for nine months straight. Never touched it for nine months. In that nine months, I lost the 40 pounds and 26 and a half inches because I had a powerful lie. Because I had things that were really, you know, going for me that I had to lose weight for my sister's wedding. I had to get my sugar under control. If I didn't, where would I be? You know? Excuse me. So, because we, if we don't have personal development, it's so easy to get switched back to our old ways. Because we think we've got this, which is what I did when I first started. But it, some days I didn't. Some days I struggled harder than others. And it was, it was kind of sad because I felt like, man, yesterday this wasn't so bad. Yesterday I done really great at this. But today there's a donut staring at me in front of my face. What do I do? Well, if I had known these steps back in the day, it would have been so much easier, guys. So much easier. But it felt like a constant daily struggle. And you don't have to live that way. 
I'm telling you, personal development, these why powers and your tough love and your excuses have to be constantly on your mind. If you have to put post-it notes or make a planner or do a journal or whatever, just to keep them in front of you, then do that because that's what's going to keep you motivated. That's what's going to keep you on track to keep moving forward. Put, pull out your before pictures. Like I said, don't just do an old picture of you in regular clothes. No, get down into like fitness gear where it's like tight, like a sports bra, like a biker shorts where you can see everything. And do like an inventory on yourself and just look at yourself and like, what do you not like to see? What's, what do you like to see? And when you feel that you're pretty confident about yourself, that's when you love yourself. you got to love you for who you are. And if you don't love yourself, then you know that takes internal work. And that's where personal development is going to take come into play. Um, if you really struggle with self-love, um, I really highly recommend Mastering Your Mean Girl. It was really good. I really, really love that. Um, she talked about how your inner voice is always the meaner girl and you have to learn. She's always going to be there. But you have to learn how to not listen to her and replace her with positive thoughts. And that book really showed me how to do all that. That was a really great one. This one right here. We're a badass was awesome too. Um, the back of it. This is probably the only personal development book I own because I do everything on Audibles now. Um, but just to read the back of it, just so you know what's about. Uh, this is the author. If you can see her, her name is Jen Sincero. It's kind of backwards, but um, so it says how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. I mean, this was one of the first books I read, and I thought, wow, you know what? This is pretty amazing. And this is why I, this is how I got hooked on personal development. This is before I got all started. And, you know, it's amazing. Um, it says, Your Badass is the self-help book for the people who desperately want to improve their lives but don't want to get busted doing it. And this refreshingly entertaining how-to guide. Now, she's very funny. She cusses a lot in here, too. So if you're not a fan of that, then probably wouldn't recommend that. But, um... It don't bother me as you know as long as it's not the f word i really don't care for that one but um she's a success coach and she serves 27 bite-sized chapters of inspiring stories state stage advice easy exercises uh, occasional swear word and helping you to identify change the self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors that stop you from getting what you want create a life you totally love and create it now some some make some damn money already the kind that you've never made before so it's a it's a kind of covers everything kind of book so i really highly recommend that one and in your workbook i give you a full list of everything that i feel like kind of broke it down um let's see i pull it pull it up here i broke it down by like emotional eating i giving you um goal setting if you're struggling with relationships um, mindset, there was a whole list of that one. Time management, if you're, tell, if you're telling me that you don't have enough time, I give you some of that. Um, daily discipline, struggling with confidence, because that was part of mine too. Um, Mar Miracle Morning helped me also to get a lot of these, uh, like how people are so, so successful, and you, it looks like it comes easy for them, but it showed, like, talk, they talked to a lot of successful people and what their mornings look like. And it seems like everybody got their workout in, everybody drank some water in the mornings and just didn't, didn't plug into the email, didn't do anything and just took some time for themselves. And that's how they became successful. So I want you to just like really read through this workbook and start to think of what things that you need help with. Now, I know I needed help with the stuff for the self-limited beliefs and all the things with the struggles and, you know, fears and doubt and excuses and all that. So that really helped me. Um, <clears throat> because if you um, if you realize how important this stuff is I mean I, I know most people think self-help books but it's really not I'm, I'm telling you what if you pick the right ones they are game changers they are so good and they make you think and it's just they're empowering but you know if you if you read these books and one book changed your life wouldn't it be worth it I mean wouldn't it be awesome to prove to yourself that one book changed your life just like that uh, five second rule did to me i mean that right there that one right there is the, the number one i recommend to start off with is the five second rule by mel robbins she she had so many great stories in there and it's and it's all backed up by research like it says you know when you start counting backwards you are 
you're interrupting your brain from thinking of what you're trying to do, of what you're trying to get out of. You know, like she, she was a really bad person about waking up and hitting the snooze button. And that's what I started using it for. Well, now I'm starting to use it for my junk food stuff. And it's may, it's amazing how, what it does. But there she has all this research behind it. She explains how these scientists came up with it and how she named it the five second rule. She's like, I know it sounds ridiculous because after you drop something on the ground in five seconds, you know, but she says it's really powerful because it works. And you just got to read the book. Because I actually, I cried at the end. Who would have thought? Hello. I'm start, after since I had my little boy, I'm a very emotional person now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I love, okay, another one of her, so I love, if you like spiritual books, The Universe Has Your Back was a really great one. Now, you know, psychics, uh, you know, I'm not into all that. But, I, you know, I believe in God. So, and have faith and all that. But this one here is talking about the universe, which is God has your back. And it talks about, you know, getting, like, meditating and reconnecting with him and all that. And, you know, she says, think about something like a sign. Like, you know, everybody says, give me a sign. But mine was a Corvette. <laughs> I love fast cars. So, I was like, okay, well, of course it's going to pop in my head because I love fast cars. But I didn't picture a certain color or anything. Hers was an owl in the book. But I didn't picture a certain color or anything. And it feels like every time I feel like I'm struggling with something, I was like, Lord, just give me a sign. And, of course, like... A Corvette rolls up. Now, I know what you're thinking. I live in West Virginia, guys. This isn't like the vets are like around a lot. And this was one time when I was struggling with really something with a family member. Uh, and, you know, I didn't know whether to say anything or not. And, you know, it was like 30 degree weather. Snowy looking. Icy. It was very ridiculous out, okay? I was like, Lord, I need a son. I don't know if I should be bringing this up to this person. Do I need to tell this person how I feel? And all of a sudden... Three Corvettes pulled up beside me. One in front of me, one beside me, and one behind me. They were red, black, and yellow, I believe, or blue. I think it was yellow. But it was ridiculous because three of them, in the middle of, like, winter, and it was, like, 30-some degrees out, that doesn't happen, guys. So, like, your sign, and, and you know you're not supposed to think about it. She, like, gives you the whole exercise in your book, but you don't have to think about it. And it just happens naturally. But every time I'm struggling with something, I'm like, just like, I need a sign. And then I never, I always forget that I have the Corvette thing. But yet, there one pops up. And I know exactly what I need to do. And it's it's a, it's just, it's just little signs, you know, little blessings from God. But that, you know, I know not everybody believes that way, but I do. So, you know, I read anything by Joyce Meyer. She helped me a ton. I just love listening to her. Um, she gives me a lot of motivation, makes you think. Um, a lot of people like Beth Moore, if you like spiritual stuff, and if also if you guys don't like books, period, and you just want to watch videos, YouTube has a ton of emotional, you know, uh, motivational videos, you know, tons of personal development, because a lot of people are putting their videos out on, um, uh, out on YouTube, so you could even, I think Mel, Rob Mel Robbins is on, um, YouTube as well, so I hope that helps, I, I actually, um, let me see what else. Oh, right now I'm reading uh, Sean T. T is for transformation. And I tell you what, guys, it is crazy because, you know, he had, you know, he looks so motivational right now, but everybody has a backstory. Everybody. And he was, um, he was molested as a kid. He had a really hard time growing up, really hard childhood loved to dance, you know, was very poor growing up, and you, to know who he is now, you would have never thought what he had struggled with before, and it's just sad, and, you know, so, you know, he shows how he became this whole, how he, how he does this transformation, and he gives you this whole way of, I'm still reading it, so I'm not fully done with it yet, but he gives you se several steps on how to make a full transformation. So far, I'm really liking the book, but it's telling a lot about his story, and how he overcame these things. And he actually, if you listen to it through audibles, he's actually, um, you know, actually talking. So you actually hear his voice, which I like. Some of these are really, you know, you, either the, the author who wrote it is reading it. So I like to do that kind of thing where they, where they read to me because I hate to read the books. <laughs> but yeah, it makes a huge difference for me. Um, if you struggle with like organization, I tell you what guys, this office here, this was our catch all office whenever we, whenever we moved in and it was a freaking disaster. 
I'm not even playing. Like, we've got it toned down a bit, okay? So, like, I still got all that clutter over there, right? And I still got just two boxes. I've got it down to two boxes. That's my sweeper. I just got it down to two boxes. And this guy, this was, this was, it was, it was insane. But the 12 week year is a great one for organizational. It is allowing you to get more stuff done in 12 weeks than most people do in a year. And it gives you like charts and all kinds of cool stuff that you can download. Um, so, you know, there's stuff like that. Cause I know I struggle a lot with like, when we moved in this house, this became the catch all. So I struggled like this room drove me nuts. It stressed me out to the max and it was very, I felt like, oh my gosh, why can't it just, it's such a small room. Why can't I just overcome this thing? But it was just beating me up. So, you know, doing little bits and pieces at a time is helping and reading some of these books is helping me grow through all that. So, you know, it doesn't matter what you're struggling with. You know, some people say, you know, if you have a cluttered room like this, it could drive you crazy and not make, and feel like it's preventing you from stars. So if you have a cluttered room, clean it up first. You know, a lot of people feel like they've got to take on this massive stuff and then they get overwhelmed. Just do one room at a time or one drawer at a time. And after you do that, you're like, boom, done. And you feel like you can, you're checking stuff off. And that's a, that's an awesome way to feel because when you start doing stuff like that, it goes by a little faster. And before you know it, guys, your house is getting organized. You're starting to feel better, you know, because you're relieving the clutter and it's just amazing feeling. And then you start thinking, okay, I want to take my take on walking or take on this and you feel amazing okay so you start small if you have to don't get overwhelmed by this by any means it's not meant to be overwhelming it's meant to help you grow as a person so I hope that helps because you know a lot of people won't start out of fear because they fear that they are gonna have to maintain all this they're gonna have to maintain working out maintain living the healthy lifestyle and then don't they act like if they start, they'll never be able to eat nothing else, no junk food ever again. And I am not all about that. You know, I am, you can go 21 days as fast and hard as you can and don't try not to cheat and then have a cheat meal again, you know, or cheat meal, whatever. But don't restrict yourself to where this is like awful because then you don't want to ever want to do it. And that's why people don't ever want to do it because they are, they feel restricted and that they're doing that to themselves. I don't ever feel restricted. If I want something, I'm going to eat it, but I know what my programs end and start. So I try to, you know, plan it just because you want to, you know, have those before and after photos because I'm trying to prove something to myself that I can do this and I can. And so can you. Um, we're actually going to start on the 15th, a new group, and it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I'm actually in the coach group with the trainer herself. I'm so excited with 11,000 other people. I am one of those people that's going to be in there. I hope I'm going to try to show up every day, which I know I do with my workouts, but we'll try to post videos in there because um, sometimes they do like challenges and all kinds of cool stuff. So I want to be one of those people. I want to be one of those people that the trainer like acknowledges or whatever because I think that's really cool. But you know, I would have never, never in a million years been able to accomplish that. Never. Because... I didn't have the belief in myself and personal development makes it all happen. It makes me feel like a rock star. I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel like, wow, I can do so many things. I was put on this earth for greatness and I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my gifts and I'm not going to, you know, be fearful of what other people think anymore. Cause I used to be such a nerd in the back in the day and I don't care what people think anymore. It is what it is. If they don't like me, they don't like me. But I'm not going to hold myself back and be scared anymore because that's just no way to live, guys. And I'm telling you, if you are fearful, if you're scared of what other people think, personal development will crack open that shell and you will grow so much as a person. It just makes everything so much better. You feel so much stronger. And it's amazing how all this can change your life. And you know, it's changed mine, like both getting up earlier and just helping me grow as a person, helping me be a better mom, helping me realize how blessed I am, helping me realize that life is short and that I need to make every day count and to live the best life because living in fear, living in doubt and struggling all the time is no way to live. And I would rather struggle a little bit through my workout, <laughs> 30 minutes or whatever, and get it done than being overweight and struggling all the time. You know what I mean? So there is a difference. And there is, it, it's it's taught me how to be, not to be selfish too. Like there's this one book, um, The Go-Giver, I read. 
think it was the last book or the one before, book I read before. And it taught me not to be selfish. I didn't think I was a selfish person, but I guess I, I was. Because after I started reading, I was like, oh, I do that. Oh, I do that. And I was like, man, you know, I thought I was doing pretty good. But you always learn how to be a better person. We all need improvement. I'm not saying anybody's perfect, but this is how you grow. And this is how you become a better person. To, and Joe would be a better parent is to show kids how you know, they need to give to the world. Because, like, you know, I thought, well, I gave to a homeless shelter one time. I create me and my sister created these 60 homeless packages and you know they had like water and socks and everything they would need like chapstick and food and you know stuff that they wouldn't get bad and all this stuff in there we put like a bible verse on them and we passed them out you know we'd send them to the cold homeless coalition and we were like we done our good deed but you know what it never stops there you should always be giving you should always be helping others and you should always you know, be there for family. And these books have taught me that because before I would just soon live in a hole and not say a word and just not grow and just hide. And now it's, it's not, I'm not like that. So definitely, definitely it makes you grow and it definitely helps you see the big picture and it helps you go beyond your wildest dreams. Because like I said, I've never been doing this, even this type of video ever, ever, because I didn't believe in myself. So it definitely is a game changer. Um, let me see. There was one also called The Gift of Imperfections. It was a long, it was more of a, I hate to say that it was a boring book, but it really made you think. Sorry, I thought I heard the door open again. It was, it really made you think because it went into detail because they had a lot of research on like shame and like all the, your feelings. So they had a lot of research behind it. I'm more like a story girl. I like to hear people's personal story, how it affected them, how what they did to fix it. And so I can like live through them, you know, like, okay, what did they do to fix it? Cause I want to get better at this. I want to do this and do that. Research is really not my thing as far as like, shame, like work research on shame. Like, I don't even know how you can research that, but she was, she was a researcher on shame and she wrote a book about it, but it was talking about all the, all the imperfections we have about ourselves our gifts and we just got to use them to ability and it was really a good book but if you can get through it it's not one I totally recommend for your first one like I said the recommend for the first one is the five second rule by Mel Robbins um do, do, do. so yeah I read the, I listen to the audibles five days a week Monday through Friday on my way to work 20 minutes a day is all you need I basically get through a book a month um and it makes a world of difference, guys. I do not read on the, I do not listen on the weekends just because I'm, I like to be in my car and listen by myself. And if a family's in there, I don't expect Sean to listen to it. Um, I especially don't listen, Tony to listen to it, even though he could probably use it. Um, but he, but yeah, I just soon do it by myself because I like to focus and then I like to think. Because sometimes I even talk to myself in the car, like, okay, I need to make a note of that. That, that, would, that makes me think of something that I could do a post on. Or this might be something I could tell my challengers that could help them. You know, it's all this. You know, this is this is where I learn and I share with you guys how I learn more. And the more I know, the more I grow, the more I can help you guys. Right? So, this is where it happens. This is where, um, this is how you do it, guys. This is how you stay in belief with yourself. This is how you show up and always have the motivation to move forward because without it it makes your why power and your constant daily struggle with tough love a constant struggle but if you have the belief and you keep growing that belief those things become easier and that's what you want you want this to become easier not a constant struggle right so um yeah it lifts me up and it keeps me um fulfilled and you know i can't I can't live without it now that I have brought it in my life. Um, Amazon Audibles is fourteen ninety five a month. You could buy that through Amazon, you know, if you do that. Or if you like to actually, some people don't want to do listen to that. They would prefer to listen to the radio, but prefer to actually hold a book. Yeah, it's up, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. It's your choice. But like I said, if you don't even want to do that, don't want to pay fourteen ninety five for Amazon, then you could go to YouTube videos and see a bunch of them there too. I don't think you get full books, but you know, you can get like little snippets of motivation and stuff like that. 
Um, you know, this one. Oh, there was, I took a I took a note here. Let me see that I. Yeah, I like the ones that like tell me to be creative and like show me how to do that because. I'm not a creative person, but I like the idea of being one. And, you know, so like learning new things, you know, I would have never done before. And the only time I read books in school was when I had to for book reports. I've never been a bunch of a book reader. I just, I'm just not, I just can't, I can't get into it. I've always felt that I've, oh, I'm too busy because before I used to work three jobs and yeah, there's no time for no books for that stuff. So forget that. So now, you know, I've got time on my, on my commute. I make the most of my commute by listening to personal development. And it just, it grows. It helps me grow. Um, the compound effect is another one. That would probably be the one that I'd read second. And then probably third would be Mastering Your Mean Girl. Only because compound effect tells you, and it, it does real life stuff. Um, you know, what might sound very small, like I said, taking away, like if you are intense insane pop drinker and you drink like like I said I helped that one girl with seven cans a day of Mountain Dew well your first week you're you're you take away one can a day so you're down to six cans a week and then the next week you're five cans a week four cans three cans two cans one can and it's a gradual weaning process okay weaning <laughs> you I do not recommend going cold turkey ever because you will get the shakes, you will get very dizzy, you will get very, you'll get a lot of headaches, um, you'll get very irritable, and you will want to give up, and you will, and you'll quit, because you're like, this is too hard, it's so much easier just to drink it, it is what it is, and you'll forget about your white power, that, that'll go out the door, and you, I don't want you to do that, because you're, then, then you're giving in to the junk food, and that's, that's not what this is about. This is about you overcoming power, overcoming that struggle that you have and not giving it the power. You have the power to say no to it. Five seconds. Remember? Five seconds. You got you got five seconds to make a difference. So, I, you know, anything that um, you read, it needs to be something that will help you grow. Don't just be reading books to be reading books. Read something that's spark something in you. Like when I read this one, I read how to stop doubting your great, greatness. Okay. And cause I felt like I, was like, I can be awesome. Well, sure. I have doubts. I always had, you know, I always have doubts. What's, what's this book about? That sparked my attention. Don't pick books that don't mean anything to you or it's going to be hard to eat, listen to or read. So pick something that you need help with and go for it. Like I said, there's all kinds in your workbook, go through them and read See what you're struggling with and pick a book from there. Um, you can even go to Amazon and just read like when it gives a description. What's, you know, does it sound good to you? Would you read it? And just read a little bit each time. See, I used to get overwhelmed with books because I'd see this big book sitting here. And this is why I don't like books. Um, I see this big book sitting here and I'm thinking, I just see stuff I have to do. And I'd be like, oh gosh, I don't want to have to do that. That's awful. But if I break it down in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day. It makes it so much easier to get through. Just make the set the time for yourself for when you're going to do it and set it like appointment just like your workout. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, this one's going to be a little shorter one. Where, where am I even on time? 28 plus the 7 minutes before because I got interrupted by little man. And I know I did. It's 35. And I did 40. I did close to an hour the other day. So sticking to my plan of telling you 45 minutes to an hour per video. So that's pretty much pretty much it but if you have any questions ask away because you know I want you to get you know, check my notes make sure I went through everything <sighs> you say nice things instead of negative remember you believe what you say is true yeah today is personal development <laughs> I think I've covered everything because you know honestly guys it's, it's all about how bad you want it. If you are tired of looking in the mirror and not seeing what you like, you've got to know that you've got, you can change that. You can change that. 
that if you keep saying, I can't change that, but I don't like the way I look, then you're just limiting yourself. You've got to see the difference and you've got to switch that little excuse right there. Switch that negative thought. Because like Miranda said, she said, you know, I'm trying to be more positive for my daughter. And that's, that's a good, that's a good thing. Because I want, I like the fact that you are trying. Because most parents would, you know, be proud of that. That you are at least trying every day to make an impact on your daughter's life because you don't want her to feel negative about herself. That's the worst thing. In the, that's the worst thing she can feel, right? You don't want to see her, you know, feeling like she's ugly or anything like that because you know, you know she's not. She's a beautiful person inside out. She's your daughter. You love her always. So this is the type of stuff that you need to work on yourself too. Everybody does. So you can show her how to be. So you can show her how to rise up above bullying and anything any bad things that happen to her because she's got to be strong and you got to teach her that and this is how you do it this is how you as a mom show her to be stronger than that stronger than what you are you feel like you struggle with stuff but you can be stronger than that and so but you got to show her the way and if you keep failing at you know i, I keep saying all this stuff you keep saying you're negative you keep saying this you're going to believe it and you're going to fall off track again if you Go in at that as a positive attitude, guys. You have to. You have to go in as positive as you can. And just take one day at a time. Don't get overwhelmed of 50 pounds to lose. Don't ever say that. Just work at your little mini small smart goals. I got 5 pounds to lose a month. That sounds so much easier to do than 50 pounds. Right? And when you hear the 50 pounds, you get overwhelmed of the length of time it's going to take. And you're going to be here no matter what. So you might as well make the most of your time and just go at it slow because slow and steady wins the race. People want fast stuff, but quick fixes don't fix anything, guys. That's why they don't last. They don't last. So you've got to be positive with what you're doing. You've got to have reason why you're doing it. And you've got to do it on purpose. You've got to grow as a person in order for all this to work. Okay, guys? I hope that helps. If you have any questions, comment below. I'm trying to keep these short for you, but I want to give you the most value as I can. Because I can see potential in all of you. If you are struggling with something, comment below. We'll try to figure out a solution for you. Or um, I'll just do another post where it says, you know, your takeaways. So we can do that as well. So like I said, have a great night. I hope you guys um, take a lot from this. But like I said, if you have questions, ask. All right. Have an awesome night. See ya. Bye.